I've done it. I've found it. The one, the only, the ultimate engineering major to study if you just can't decide. And it is... Mechanical engineering. <laughs> but Anna, that's kind of lame. You're a mechanical engineer yourself. Of course you think mechanical engineering is the best. Now, not so fast. I'm not saying it's right for everyone, only for the people who have no idea which type of engineering is best for them, like myself when I pick my major. But you don't have to take it from me because I got the opinion of three other mechanical engineers and two of them don't even work as mechanical engineers anymore and they still think it was a great choice. Like Liz from the United States who studied mechanical engineering, then worked as an estimating engineer in the consumer construction industry and now works as a data science manager at Intel. With mechanical engineering, I think of it like the Swiss army knife of engineering, okay? Because you're going to touch everything. You take a little computer science, you take a little circuits, which is in, you know, electrical engineering. You take a lot of classes with the civil engineers. You're going to touch every type of engineering. And so I, when I went out into the workforce, I started seeing mechanical engineers in weird positions. Like they could just take, they could take an electrical position. They could take a CS position. Like, because it's so broad, you can really go into any industry and do anything. So that's why I'm like, if you're not sure, mechanical is a great one because you can kind of flex and fake your way into another type of engineering because mechanical is just so broad. So that's my advice. If you don't know, this one's a really good one. There's lots of jobs. You can do it literally anything. Abdulaziz from Saudi Arabia also studied mechanical engineering, after which he worked within robotics in the solar industry. He then decided to get a master's degree in engineering management next to his job, and now he works as a production engineer in a battery factory. So he started out as a general mechanical engineer, and then through his jobs specialized more and more into a subdiscipline of mechanical engineering, so robotics and production engineering. So the reason why I chose mechanical engineering is how to say, well, my dad was an electrical engineer and I didn't want to be an electrical engineer. So I wanted to do something different. I was trying to explore a bit into aeronautical engineering. Also, for some reason, I was obsessed with genetics engineering for a while. But then I realized like, okay, it's very niche. And so, yeah. And People just told me that mechanical engineering has a lot of scope and it's very wide. And some of my, you know, peers, they told me like, okay, if you want to go into aeronautics, you could do mechanical engineering and then do a master's in aeronautics or something. So that's why I chose mechanical engineering. Naomi from the Netherlands studied mechanical engineering, then went on to do a business master and now works as portfolio manager at the truck manufacturing company Scania. So she basically left engineering behind in terms of her role, but she still works in the manufacturing industry where her mechanical engineering background helps her better understand the business and cooperate with the technical departments. I chose it because I didn't know what to choose. And for the people that don't know, mechanical engineering is the broadest engineering you can do. I always made the joke in the past, like, if you don't know what to do and you're more like an economics and that kind of stuff, you always do law. Mechanical engineering is exactly the same for the engineering side. Mm -hmm. Don't know what to do, you do mechanical engineering. And it works great. I mean, it's, it's perfect. But it's, uh, that's the reason I chose it. You can watch the full interviews with all three engineers on the Fresh Engineer podcast, which I'll link down below. But the reason I'm telling you about these people and showing you these clips is to demonstrate just how diverse the people who study mechanical engineering and how different their careers can be. You can go more into a business direction like Naomi, more into software and data science like Liz, or work more hands-on in the field as a production engineer like Abdulaziz. So if you're really struggling with picking an engineering major, mechanical engineering is a great way to not have to specialize too early and keep your options open while still diving deep into the field of engineering. If you're now thinking, okay, Anna, that sounds great, but what are the negatives? There must be a downside to this. Then you're right, there are also some strong reasons why mechanical engineering might not work for you, which I discuss in this video right here. 